The next thing which I would like to discuss with you that is the sensors and actuators. Actuators actually, sorry. So simply <clears throat> the IoT hardware when we talk about. So the actuators and sensors are there. Firstly, we'll be talking about the sensors and then we will be talking about the actuators. So simply IoT that is the Internet of Things. Like devices are the physical components that collect and transmit the data about the real world. And this data is then processed and analyzed to provide insights and automation. Two crucial components of IoT hardware are sensors and actuators. So when we talk about sensors, sensors are the devices that detect and respond to physical stimuli such as light, heat, motion, pressure, etc. And they convert it into the electrical signals. And these signals can then like be processed by the computer or microcontrollers. Okay. So there are many sensors. We will be talking about them. Sensors basically detect and respond to the physical stimuli like uh, light, heat and all. Then the first one is the temperature sensor. As the name implies, you can see the image also. It is here. Digital temperature sensor. So it measures the temperature and it is commonly used in the thermostats weather stations and uh, industrial <clears throat> processes. So this is a kind of a uh, sensor and it is very important also. It is used a lot. It is a hardware device. And uh, simply temperature sensors are devices used to measure temperatures. They come like uh, you can say like thermocouples are there, RTDs are there like resistance temperature detectors. Thermistors are there, infrared signals, those kind of stuff. Like applications of temperature sensors could be the industrial processes, monitoring and controlling the temperature in manufacturing process. HVAC systems are there. So HVAC system, if we talk about that is ensuring the proper functioning of the heating, ventilation and air condition system, that is HVAC. Then that is also used with the help of temperature sensors because it can detect the temperature. Then medical devices like uh, monitoring body temperature in various medical applications. Automotives also is the one application like measuring engine, uh, engine and uh, exhaust temperature for better performance. So in the consumer electronics also it is used overheating protection and uh, simply the battery management in devices like smartphones and laptops. There also the temperature sensors are inbuilt. Then the humidity sensors are there. So as the name implies, obviously it is for the humidity. Okay, so these sensors can detect the amount of water vapor in the air. And you can see this uh, image also, it is here. And it is used in the weather stations, greenhouses and HVAC systems. So humidity sensor measures and reports the moisture and uh, air temperature to the environment. Uh, sorry, in the environment. And uh, they are crucial in various applications, like from weather monitoring to HVAC, as I told you. So manufacturing processes and even in the smart home devices also, there are different types of humidity sensors, including the cap uh, like uh, capacitive, resistive and uh, thermal sensors and each with its own methods of uh, measuring humidity. So there are different types of uh, humidity sensors. When we talk about the applications of the humidity sensors, where it is used in the weather stations, weather monitoring. So it is used in the weather station to measure atmospheric humidity. And uh, important for predicting weather patterns and understanding climate conditions also. Then in the HVAC, when we talk about, so it helps in the, like it, it maintain comfortable and safe indoor air quality by monitoring the, monitoring and component, uh, sorry, monitoring and controlling the humidity levels. And it prevents the, like prevents mold growth and improves energy efficiency. In the manufacturing processes, also the humidity sensors are used. And uh, in the food processing, textile, and it helps to maintain the product quality and consistency also. In smart home devices, also it is used to, like it incorporates the smart, uh, you can say thermostats and indoor air quality monitoring. So there are a lot of uh, implementations of it. Next one is the light sensor. As the name implies, a light sensor detects the Intensity of light and uh, intensity of light actually. And uh, it is used in camera, street lights and uh, simply the automatic 
lightning systems. You can see the image here. So the light sensor is a device that detects and measures the intensity of light. And uh, it converts light energy, they, they are the photons, into electrical signals that can be interpreted by electronic systems. So light sensors are used in various applications, like you can say automatic lightning that is turning on the light on the base of the ambience, okay, ambient light levels. Photography also, it uh, in the photography also it is used. So measuring light exposure to adjust the camera settings we have seen in the mobile phone cameras. In the display also, like uh, adjusting screen brightness based on the surrounding light we do in our laptops even. In the safety also, detecting changes in the light for security systems. Okay, according to the security, the light will be changed. So common type of light, sen light sensors are like simply the LDRs, CCDs, like charge coupled devices, you know. And each type has its own specific applications and sensitivity to different light wavelengths. Okay. Then the motion sensors are there and you can see one uh, image there for the motion sensor. So motion as the name implies, it is for the movement or the motion and it is used in the security system, gaming consoles, robotics also. In the more robotics also it is used. The image which you can see that is for the security system you can say. And a motion, motion sensor is simply a device that detects physical movement in the given area. Okay. So it can be used for various applications including the security system, home automation and uh, you can say interactive installations also. Like uh, you can say the applications if we talk about so automatic lightning is also one uh, application like it turns on and off the light based on the occupancy. That how many uh, like how much area is occupied. It improves the energy efficiency also. In security system, it detects the intruders and triggers alarm on notifications. And it is used in both residential and commercial properties. When we talk about uh, the motion sensors in the home automation, so it integrates with the smart home systems to control various devices. And uh, in industry automation also, it is used, used in manufacturing and warehousing, monitors, machinery and equipment for safety and efficiency. So there are a lot of uh, utilizations of these things. Then the pressure sensor comes. So as the name imply, when we talk about the pressure sensor, so the pressure sensor measures the pressure. There are multiple pressure sensors. Two, I have given the image of two of them here. Okay, there are multiple types. We will be talking about them in detail afterwards also. So the pressure sensor is a device used to measure the pressure of, a, of the gases and liquids actually most of the time. So pressure is an expression of the force required to stop a fluid from expanding and is typically like stated in the terms of force per unit area. Okay, like absolute pressure sensor are there, gauge pressure sensor are there, both are listed here in the, the uh, like image and differential pressure sensor is not present in the image. Uh, that is also the third one which is actually cut in the image. And uh, simply the applications of the pressure sensors are simply in the automotive. So tire pressure monitoring and uh, like engine control, in the industrial level, you can say the process control, leak testing, for that leak testing also this is used. In the medical blood pressure monitoring, respiratory devices it is used. For the consumer electronics, touch screen, mobile devices, pressure sensors are used. In the aer uh, aerospace also it is used like to control the cabin pressures. So there is a like a various range of this, the factors to consider when the selection of the Pressure sensor, it includes the range, accuracy, environment, output. Like the range of the pressure can measure. Okay. Accuracy, like how precise the measurement need to be. And the environment could be like the conditions such as temperature, humidity, and exposure uh, to the chemicals. And the output could be like type of output, uh, analog or digital could be there. Okay. The output could be in the analog or digital format. Okay. Then the next thing which comes into the picture, that is the gas sensors. So, gas sensors, when we talk about it, it is again another type of sensor and it detects the pre presence of specific gases and it is like used in the smoke detectors, air quality monitors and industry processes. You can see these are some basic images of it. So, like you can say the gas sensors are devices that detect the presence of various gases within an area, within an area. Okay, usually as the part of safety system. Okay, 
So they are used in the various industries and application, including the environment monitoring, industrial safety, automotive systems, and smart home technologies also. And uh, simply the applications when we talk about, so environmental monitoring can be like a detection of the air pollutions and, and greenhouse gases and monitoring of the indoor air quality. And the industrial safety when we talk about, so detection of the toxic and flammable gases in manufacturing plants, refineries and uh, chemical plants even. And the prevention of the gas leaks and uh, explosives also is simply the application of gas sensors. In the automotive systems also it is used. In the automotive systems like monitoring of exhaust gas from emission control also it can be used. Detection of gas leaks in vehicles in the automotive. And when we talk about the smart home devices, so detection of carbon monoxide and smoke especially. And integration with the home automation system for improved safety. So the recent advancements, if I talk about the recent advancement of the gas sensors, so it, like uh, miniaturization is one of the recent advancement. Miniature, miniaturization means development of the smaller and more portable gas sensors. Okay, miniature, you can see in the image also, miniature are there. And improved sensitivity and selectivity. So advanced material and sensor design for better performance is there. And wireless connectivity is there, the integration with the IoT for remote monitoring and controlling. Multi-gas detection, it is also one enhancement advancement so sensors capable of detecting multiple gases simultaneously so gas sensors play a crucial role in ensuring safety and environment protection across various sectors then the ultrasonic sensors so you can see this image this is image of ultrasonic sensor so it uh, measures the distance using the sound waves okay like used in obstacle detection, parking sensors, and distance measurement. Ultrasonic sensor is basically a device that measures the distance to an object by using sound waves. And it operates on the principle of uh, echolocation, you can say. Okay, similar to how bats and dolphins navigate and find objects. Key components in the ultrasonic sensor is simply the transmitter and receiver and control circuit. Three key components are there, transmitter, uh, sorry, transmitter receiver, and control circuits. Transmitter emits the ultrasonic wave, receiver detects the reflected wave, and control circuit processes the received signal and calculate the distances. And how it will be calculating the distances? With the help of like the formula distance equals to speed of sound into time upon 2. Distance equals to speed of sound into time upon 2. Okay, the division by 2 is necessary because the sound wave travels to the object and back. Okay. When we talk about the applications of the ultrasonic sensor, so obstacle avoidance is one of the obstacle avoidance, like detection and avoidance. So in robotics, ultrasonic sensors help in robot detect obstacles. The robot will be able to detect the obstacles and navigate around them. Distance measurement. So uh, like uh, in distance measurement, you can say it is used in various applications uh, where uh, like precise distance measurement is required, such as label, uh, measurement in the tank or bins in the parking sensors if we talk about so commonly used in vehicles to assist with parking by detecting obstacles proximity detection can also be the like in industrial automation they are used to detect the presence of the object on assembly lines and in the home automation like used in smart home systems for presence detection and automatic door opening also Ultrasonic sensors are used for the automatic door opening.